As a tax professional, I get this question all the time. What if I can't afford to pay my taxes? I'm Anthony Moriello, and in this video, I'm going to outline for you exactly in very easy to understand language what to do next. By the end of this video, I guarantee that you're gonna know the answer to the question, what can I do if I can't afford to pay my taxes? I'm gonna outline for you three simple strategies, three simple calls of action in a one, two, three detailed way, including options. This way, if one doesn't fit, or if you feel like this is just not for me, you know that you have other alternatives. As an accountant, I'd never advise a client to call the IRS on, the, on their own. We are specialized in handling these matters for clients. However, many times we get calls, whether they're through the internet or just for our office, um, offering people some advice. What do I do if I can't afford to pay my taxes? The IRS is very user-friendly. They've been more so through the course of COVID. Now, if you can't afford to pay your tax bill, we know what it's like. Maybe you know you owe the money, but your head is in the sand. The IRS has picked up their collection activities so much so that they've actually now outsourced collections to collection agencies. Whether it's the IRS or a collection agency, if you get a tax bill or correspondence in the mail, you've got to address that immediately. No more sticking your head in the sand. So promise me that you're not going to avoid the issue. That's number one. Number two is if you don't want to reach out to your accountant or a trusted advisor like ourselves, you're gonna to wanna to call the number on the forms. Once you explain your situation, you tell the, you've identified yourself to the caller on the other end, they're gonna ask you a series of questions verifying that you are who you say you are. And it's almost ironic that you might be somebody else calling to say, I'm somebody with a tax problem if it wasn't you, but to safeguard your identity, they're gonna to want to verify your identity. Once your identity is verified, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you let them know your comfort and your ability to pay on a monthly basis. The worst thing you can do is set up or promise to pay something that you can't afford to pay. So if you're gonna make yourself a payment plan with the IRS, number one, please keep it within your budget. Be honest, be truthful. If you can only afford a certain amount of money per month, go at that figure. You're always able to pay more every month if you want. There's no prepayment penalties on anything that you'll set up with the IRS or their third-party collection agency. Traditionally, if you're waiting for that letter and you're responding by a call, they're gonna walk you through your budget, they're gonna walk you through how much you can pay. Seriously, little secret, the IRS is willing to go 72 months for you to pay your liability. Now, that's a total of six years to pay your tax bill. There's gonna be interest and penalties, but knowing that you've got six years to pay your tax bill should put your mind at ease and make you feel like I've got this. Once you set up the plan, you will get a confirmation letter in the mail. Within that confirmation letter, the IRS is gonna give you the opportunity to fill out another form, which will allow you to request that amount of money to be debited out of your bank account every month. Many people choose this option. It puts their mind at ease that they don't have to remember to pay that bill every month. It also lowers the chance of default. So what happens? Now you've got the IRS on the phone. Be prepared, you will be on hold for a very minimum of an hour to an hour and a half. So put speakerphone on, get yourself something else to multitask, you're gonna be on hold a good long time. Once you get an agent, it's important to be respectful, but also to realize this is not the IRS that you see in the movies. This is not the, the debt collector or the IRS banging on your door saying, you owe us money, here's handcuffs, you're coming with us. This is a, it's a trained professional, but they're somebody who's answering the phones. As far as negotiating your plan, pretty much the longest period of time that the IRS will allow you to pay your tax bill is 72 months. Now, if the thought of having to call the IRS, wait on hold for an hour and a half to two hours, speak with an agent, craft a plan and answer questions is too much for you, then your best bet is really to call a professional like myself or somebody who can manage that for you. Through a power of attorney, we would handle the matter for you. 
all you, the, the hardest call you would need to make would be to our office. You'd be on hold three seconds. We'd gather the information we need from you and we'd manage to establish that payment plan for you on your behalf in terms that you and I discussed prior to speaking to the IRS. So stop right there, I know what you're thinking. What is the lesser of the two evils? Is calling the IRS and not paying an accountant to do it, but having to face the IRS alone, negotiate my own payment plan with them, answer grueling tough questions to them on my personal finances, or is the thought of what is an accountant gonna bill me to represent me and handle this for me? So I know you're at home, I know you're sitting there weighing these two options. Let me put your mind at ease. It, it, it's, there's no smoke and mirrors here. We deal with the IRS all day, every day. We have a direct access line to them that we're able to put your mind at ease. We're able to speak on your behalf to speak to the IRS for you in terms that you and I would clearly define. It's much more affordable than you think. And ultimately, we like to add value. We like to create value for our clients. As part of our negotiating with the IRS, I'm also looking at your tax return transcript, and I'm gonna identify any areas where you as a taxpayer calling may not know for your eye to look at. You might not know on your transcript there are three penalties for maybe late filing, maybe late paying. As a trained professional, I'm gonna look for that for you. So on your behalf, not only am I gonna set up this payment plan, but if I see an area that I can identify and lower or eliminate a penalty that the IRS assessed you, my client, I'm gonna defend you. I'm gonna say, hey, listen, I'd like to have that penalty abated and here's why. Should we need any information from you, we call you, the IRS does not. So I hope that sets your mind at ease as to justifying how your accountant can help you in this situation. Now you may not be working with an accountant, but there are tons of us out there ready, willing, and able to help you negotiate dealing with the IRS. So you're not at it alone. Hey, if you're enjoying this education and you really feel it's valuable, like this video and let's get back to more content. So the question is, what do I do if I can't afford to pay the taxes that I owe? I'm gonna stop you there. Back up just a little bit. Do you know what the tax originated from? Is the tax that you owe accurate? Have you prepared the return? Have you used the assistance of a tax accountant or a preparer to prepare the return? Or did you not do the return at all and the IRS tried to get you, they tried to get you, they tried to get you, suddenly they stopped and said, hey, you're not gonna respond, you're not gonna file your return, guess what? We're gonna file it for you, here's our tax bill. And unfortunately, you find yourself panicking and frantic because all of those letters that you've been avoiding now are met with an actual tax bill. So rather than just jump off from here to say, what if I can't afford to pay the taxes that I owe, I'm gonna stop you for a moment and I'm gonna ask you, are those taxes even accurate? So one of the other options we can explore is, what if I can't afford to pay the taxes that I owe? okay, we've discussed already setting up a payment plan. Monthly payment plan with the IRS works just like a monthly payment with a credit card or with your mortgage. However, now we have to think, what if I just simply outright cannot afford these taxes? For whatever their origin, for whatever their cause, where I am today, I simply can't afford to pay this, I can't afford a payment plan, it's impractical for me to even get my head around paying this tax. Well, there's still another option available to you, and it's called the IRS Offer in Compromise. When you file an offer in compromise, there's a series of financial statements that you're gonna to need to prepare and present to the IRS. This is outlining for them your inability to pay your tax. Now, it's not as simple as a lot of those other companies will say pennies on the dollar and we'll save you money and fresh start initiative. There's a little bit more of a process to it, and we're gonna tell you that process. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to gather up 12 months of your bank statements, all of your financial statements, your credit card statements, your mortgage, your insurances, your pay stubs, copies of your tax return. What the IRS is gonna to look to do is to see your liquidity. They wanna know your true ability to pay this tax or not. If, and, and it's a big if, if we could exhibit that you simply cannot afford to pay these taxes, they will certainly accept less tax money than you owe, to include any past penalties and interest. So what we're looking to do is tell them, 
here I am financially, here's a snapshot in time. Here's my future earnings. When I look at my assets, my equity in those assets, and my earnings and ability to pay, here is my bottom line figure. And this is the figure that I'm gonna put forth to propose to pay the IRS. Now many times that can be pennies on the dollar, hence all those commercials you hear. However, anybody promising that you're gonna pay pennies on the dollar without walking you through this process and truly seeing what you could afford to pay is kind of leading you the wrong way. You're gonna to wanna to do your due diligence, you're gonna to wanna to assemble all of the paperwork, you're gonna to wanna to present to the IRS the most complete package of your inability to pay the taxes that are due on that return for them to make their decision. Once the IRS makes their decision on the offer and compromise, you're also telling them that you're going to remain in compliance. If you don't, you risk defaulting on that offer and compromise and you go right back to where you were. So you're gonna to want to make sure that you and or your accountant, your tax professional, stays in compliance. You file your tax returns annually. If you owe money, you pay that money. Because if you don't and you find yourself in the same boat, like I've said earlier, you're gonna default on that plan. Now, not only will you owe money for this year, you're gonna owe all that back tax money that we've just debated. Did you find value in this video? Check out this one next.